The best kind of doors are the doors you have to explain. Welcome, welcome to Unhinge, where door hardware nerds and security professionals get together and knock and slam on different door fells. We learn, we laugh, and sometimes we even cry because of these poorly installed doors and how hard they are to look at. But thanks for joining us. Today, we have a very special guest, Mr. Vinny. Why don't you hop on and say hello and share a little bit about yourself? Hello, everyone. I'm Vinny Pioni. I'm the digital content manager and an installation technician for Eastern Security Services. A fun fact about myself here, I actually sold cars prior to this for a few years. I can't say I was just a used car salesman. There were some new cars in there as well, but you know, quite a few previously enjoyed ones as we called them. I did that for just shy of three years. Yeah. You were salesman? I was a car salesman, just like Danny DeVito and Matilda, but with integrity. That's a great line. Car salesmen get like such a bad rep, but really they are there to help you out. I wouldn't buy a car any other way. I mean, that's why people use salespeople in the first place. But... Oh yeah. Absolute terrible reputation. I mean, I sold in several different industries and there is not any other industry where a customer comes in and right off the bat has a negative expectation. So that was a hurdle to jump over right off the bat. But I toughed it out for a little while, built a, a pretty solid book of business but then just decided to completely 180. And join the security industry. Like Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> no, I actually, after I sold cars, I, I was a cable technician for Spectrum for a little bit, which that was my big 180 there. And I got used to working with tools and on ladders at dangerous heights and attics and crawl spaces, and then decided to apply that to the security industry. I started with Eastern Security here back in 2021, coming up on my two-year anniversary pretty soon. I started as an installation technician, so I was out installing security, fire alarm systems, uh, access control, as well as intercom and video solutions. And then a couple months ago now, I was promoted to digital content manager as well. So I'm probably the only alarm technician out there who also has an account on Canva, but I've been having a lot of fun with it. <laughs> we love Canva on DHN, so. <laughs> Fans, not sponsored. Canva, not let us. <laughs> <laughs> Vinny, I had no idea. Welcome to the show. I'm so glad to have you on here and I'm excited to see your insights. One thing I have to give you props to, like you just started, you said a couple months ago with your new job. Yes. New, you are already making such a big impact in the industry. Like your content has gone. One of your videos I saw had like crazy amounts of views on YouTube, right? Oh yeah. I think that one had a Guardians of the Galaxy reference in it there, which, you know, I did have to put a fair use disclaimer on that one, of course, but yeah, that brought them in. But no, we had that one. Uh, we started a recent campaign about work from home, alarm monitoring. That one's got some traction. We've got new episodes coming out uh, every Tuesdays at 9 uh, a.m., of course. An odd time for a show release, I realize. But no, that's on uh, LinkedIn, Facebook, TikTok, our, uh, our new platform. And uh, yeah, we've, we've been doing a lot of exciting things on it here. And there's a lot more exciting things to come too. I'm just excited to have another content creator in the little niche that we've got here. Like we're more powerful together, right? Like, so oh, absolutely. Well, Mia, hello. Hi, do you want to? Hello. Yes. How's it going? Great. <laughs> also, this is our December episode. Sorry, we're not more dressed up. It's actually September when we're filming. I should have been wearing my ugly sweater. I need to grow up my Santa beard. Yeah. Vinny, you're already good. I'm already on it. <laughs> So fun fact, I can't decide if I want to do first job, job before I joined Asa Abloy, or first car. What do you think? I'm going to go with first car. Yeah, that sounds good. Okay. Like most teenage girls in the early 2000s, I had a Jetta, but it was bright teal. <laughs> That's today's fun fact. I didn't realize that was a teen girl car. I drove a Jetta at one point myself. It wasn't teal. It was, you know, the gold color, but. Oh, the gold color was pretty I... standard, I think, right? Yeah, that's what they had. <laughs> yeah. I mean, those Jettas were awesome. Yeah, actually, I did a girl that drove a Jetta. So yeah, I guess that makes sense. Yeah, my high school was like the parking lot. Like every other car was oh, a Jetta. Wow. No, no, not quite that bad, but yeah, we had a lot of them. I thought they ripped. Mine was turbo, it had sport mode in it. That thing, you know, had some power to it. Yeah, you might have had a newer model than I had because mine was a 94. Okay, 2015, <laughs> I think. Yeah. <laughs> my first car, my fun fact for today is first car, has a little bit of a story to it, I guess. But let me first tell you, it was a mm. 94. Lexus sedan and you might think like oh Benji did you have like lots of money or something like that uh no I actually paid a thousand dollars cash for it wow. it had been in a previous accident and my mm. uncle 
it off of a FBI auction. So who knows what happened in that car, but let's just say he got a really good deal on it. And so I was able to get it from him for a very good price. Did that price include the drugs that were inside the stitches in the <laughs> seats sir? Well, Vinny, thanks again for joining us. Appreciate you hopping on the show with us today. For those who don't know how Unhinge work, let me run you down how it works. I'll share my screen with different door hardware installation security fails. We will knock and slam on it and then give it a knocking score. One being not too knocking bad, but then 10 being pretty knocking bad. It's hitting life safety, security issues, AHJ. Let's get someone out there to resolve it. Let's get Eastern security systems out there to fix and resolve these issues. Like that's how bad a 10 needs to be. And we'll see what we got today for you, Vinny. But yeah, we'll give it a knocking score and then we'll move on from there. How does that sound? You ready? That sounds great. I'm ready. (laughs) (laughs) Where is this? It's at a Mexican restaurant, like kind of on brand. Like I almost don't want to knock this. That's tough. I could appreciate the humor there. They get points. They do get some points for humor on that one. Yeah, I mean, there's a stop sign on the door. That's a big one. I'm assuming it's, you know, an egress. Is there, unfortunately, that picture cuts off there. I can't see any kind of, you know, exit sign above there. All I see is a big red stop sign, which makes me think not to go that way. A little conduit. It does go up to an exit. It does. Okay. It is an emergency exit for this restaurant. That could be a little confusing to someone. Is that a pole station right next to it? It is, yeah. That's too high. That's a failed inspection right there unless it's a really tiny door which that's a whole other issue yeah i mean you have your word document like sort of in the frame oh how embarrassing (laughs) one thing i see on the end of the exit push is a hole i'm wondering if it's for dogging i've never seen a dogging hole that far on the edge i I haven't either don't recognize this exit device it has almost like a plastic shine to it i don't know who manufactures that if you know comment below let us know it kind of does look like a dogging hole i don't know what else it would be i guess so that's why i assumed which would be fine because i'm assuming this is probably not fire rated fire door i mean if it is an exit door it's probably not a fire door unless there's hazardous material behind it and then they would action from the outside but yeah the way it was positioned it was an emergency exit i don't know it could be going out into a hallway or something instead of outside potentially that case you would need it fire rated because then that's creating another partition for whatever the other occupancy load is for that section yeah i thought it was funny i would i would be hard pressed to you know to fail this one obviously you know i 100 love the humor on it and i would perhaps find somewhere else else there to drop the pun and maybe not an emergency exit door. <laughs> um, I'll put that one the lower side. It's probably, you know, a two or three. I mean, there's, I'm trying to put blinders on for the pole station being too high next to it here. So I'll give that a pass. Yeah. I mean, the alarms guy in you is probably like, what are they doing? What are they doing? What are they doing? Yeah. That's pretty low for me. I think they'd be better served to take the stop sign down and yeah. make the in case of emergency only bigger in place of the stop sign <laughs> because there's nothing wrong with saying that right emergency <laughs> exit basically i love yeah. that in case of emergency i'm definitely going to steal that i'll <laughs> knock a point off i'll give him a two i'll knock one off of that there oh mia we're sponsoring nacho bar <sighs> ah, i should have saved this for something we can use that hey whose uh, bar is it it's nacho bar <laughs> Vinny, welcome to the club <laughs> Right on par. Yeah, I would say, again, it's not too knocking bad. People will probably still exit. But like you said, Vinny, that stop sign, that's a no-no in my book. Anytime you're like making people hesitate to leave in case so emergency only, (laughs) that's a red flag for me and definitely gets a couple extra points. But it's not like it's locked or anything. It doesn't look like it's going to sound any alarm or anything like that. But maybe they're just trying to keep people from dining and dashing or something. Right. No, it very much reminds me of one you guys did a while back with the tall glass building where there was a door I believe into a stairwell but the angle you were looking at it because it was circular it looks like you go out the door or you fall you know six stories does it, something like that if it makes you hesitate to use that door in emergency you know you gotta get probably dinged for that stop sign is definitely a little off-putting that would be the big thing for me wow that was a throwback because I think that was our first ever aired episode of Unhinged when we had I, I had to review a few so. on <laughs> 
God, that was a while ago. Good find, Vinny. That was a disaster. I mean, the, like, <laughs> technically, I don't know if it was even breaking any rules, but if I was looking at that, I would use a different way to exit. Okay, so not too knocking bad. You said two or three. Oh, I'll give him a two. That's really the big thing right there, and it's a pretty easy fix. I would say four. It was a confusion. And I'm giving them a little grace because of the pun, so they're going back down. <laughs> like, they're because you made an emergency exit funny i'm letting it slide this time if you want to be featured on a future episode of unhinged or if you have a picture to submit you can email me at mia at door thanks for watching